In this video, we're going to focus on the road to dictatorship, and we're going to explore how Hitler was able to achieve total control in nine, from July 1933 to August 1934. This bit here is really important because it outlines how President Hindenburg's death led to Hitler to becoming dictator of Germany. But first, we need to explore how Hitler um, was able to achieve total control and become dictator and ultimately the Fuhrer of Germany. So let's have a look at the situation by July 1933. Hitler had passed the Enabling Act, which had, had allowed him to bypass the Reichstag and pass any laws that he'd wanted to do. One of the first laws that he passed was the banning of trade unions and political parties. Essentially, this had increased Hitler's power substantially. Even though President Hindenburg, he was the president, and technically he was had more authority than Hitler, in reality this wasn't the case. However, Hitler still had a major problem. The major problem revolved around Ernst Röhm. Ernst Röhm was in charge of the SA, and this posed a potential threat to Hitler's ultimate power. So let's have a look at why the SA had become such a problem for Hitler. It must be said that by 1934, the SA was made up of 2.9 million men, and this was a very powerful force. In the past, the SA had helped destroy Hitler's enemies, but things had changed. Hitler actually needed the loyalty of the army, and the loyalty of the army was needed, particularly from the generals, because they were in charge of the army, or in, in fact they led the soldiers, that was needed if Hitler was to achieve his aims with regards to Lebensraum, which was moving eastwards to take over um, different countries such as Russia and Poland. Now, also, in addition to that, um, Ernst Röhm had said that he wanted to merge, he wanted to bring together the SA and the army. Now, the army generals did not want that at all. Increasingly, Ernst Röhm had become a problem and a threat to Hitler's position. And even though Hitler had got rid of trade unions and other political parties, he now faced opposition, potential opposition, from within the party. And Hitler had to act. On June the 30th, 1934, what became known as the Night of the Long Knives began. Hitler, concerned by the power of Ernst Röhm, he asked the leader of the SS, um, a guy called Heinrich Himmler, to make up evidence to show that the SA leaders were trying to take over Germany. So that mobilised the SS into action. Remember the SS were those people that were totally obedient to Adolf Hitler. They would do anything that, he wanted, that um, they wanted him to do. So on this night, the SS did indeed arrest um, the SA leaders and they actually killed 85 of those leaders including other leaders of political parties. This enabled Hitler to eliminate any external opposition. The result ultimately was that Hitler was able to secure the loyalty of the army. The threat from the powerful SA had been reduced. Here we can see Hitler talking to the German army generals. This was really important in order to be able to control the future plans that he had for moving eastwards to take over countries like Poland and ultimately Russia. And Hitler had done it. He had now achieved total power. The only thing that technically stood in his way was President Hindenburg. But as we know, it was the death of President Hindenburg in August 1934 that ultimately allowed Hitler to become the Fuhrer of Germany. Remember, he blended the two roles of Chancellor and Dictator together to create this new, ro uh, this new role known as Fuhrer. So, in summary... It needs to be said that even though Hitler had passed the enabling law of March 1933, he still faced potential opposition from the SA. And the SA had become such a problem because Ernst Röhm, the SA's leader, had wanted to merge it with the German army. And this upset the German generals. Increasingly, the 2.9 million men had become um, violent throughout 1934 and Hitler needed to have a better image than what the SA was projecting on his behalf. So 
Hitler asked the obedient Heinrich Himmler and the SS to gather and make up evidence to frame the leaders of the SA. Hitler wanted to make it as though that the SA were wanting to overtake the country. So, with the removal of the SA leaders, remember 85 leaders were um, shot, including actually leaders from other um, political parties that had existed in the past. The death of um, the death of President Hindenburg in August 1934 allowed Hitler to become the Führer of Germany.